Hey guys, it's time for another circle time. Like we do every circle time, let's start with our yoga breaths. Let's start with five gorilla breaths. And remember, gorilla breaths aren't screaming. It's about getting all of the air out of your body. Ready? Uh... One gorilla breath. You want to sit up nice and tall, make your tummy really big, and then force all of the air out as fast as you can. Ready? Ha! One lion's breath. Oh, I didn't say how many we do. Let's do four. Ha! Two lion's breaths. Ha! Three lion's breaths. Ha! Four lion's breaths. And now our last breaths to get all nice and peaceful. We'll put your hands by your heart and close your eyes and we'll do three peaceful breaths. Ready? on and turn our listening ears on and get ready to learn. The first thing after our yoga breaths is to sing our welcoming song so everyone knows that they're welcome in our circle and our learning time. Will you sing with me? Good morning, good morning, hello and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, I hope that you are too. I hope all of you are doing well. I know it must be really hard to stay home and not see your friends. And I just want you to know, I think you all are doing a great job. Thumbs up. Okay. So we've been learning about the desert. So let's think, hmm. What is an animal that you learned about that lives in the desert? Did you know spiders live in the desert? It's true. Spiders like to make holes in the ground and bury deep in the sand in the desert. Do you see that spider, how deep he dug down in the sand? He makes his home in the desert underneath the sand. Hey, do we know any songs about spiders? I think we do. Will you guys sing the Itsy Bitsy Spider with me? We'll do it first in English, and then we'll sing it using our Hebrew words. Ready? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. All right, now let's sing it using our Hebrew words. Ready? The itsy bitsy akavetch went up the water spout. Down came the geshet and washed the akavetch out. Out came the shemesh and dried up all the geshet. And the itsy bitsy akavetch went up the spout again. Good job remembering your Hebrew words. Hmm. What do you think it would sound like if we had a little itsy bitsy teeny tiny baby spider? Do you think we would sing it in a little teeny tiny baby spider voice and have little teeny tiny spiders? Will you sing it that way with me? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. 
Ah, oh, that was pretty silly, wasn't it? Sometimes it's fun to do silly things. All right, let's think again. Hmm. What other animal do you know that lives in the desert? Hmm. They're scorpions. They live in the desert. Let's think what else. Yeah, there's eagles and vultures. Those types of birds live in the desert. That's true. But I'm thinking of an animal that has a big hump on its back and doesn't need to drink a lot of water. Hmm, what is that animal I'm thinking of? That's right, it's a camel. Do you guys know the song, Alice the Camel? Yeah, will you sing it with me? All right, hold up five fingers for five humps. Ready? Alice the Camel has five humps. Alice the Camel has five humps. Alice the Camel has Five humps, so ride, Alice, ride. Alice the camel has four humps. Alice the camel has four humps. Alice the camel has four humps, so ride, Alice, ride. Alice the camel has three humps. Alice the camel has three humps. Alice the camel has three humps, so ride, Alice, ride. Alice the camel has two humps. Alice the camel has two humps. Alice the camel has two humps. So ride, Alice, ride. Alice the camel has one hump. Alice the camel has one hump. Alice the camel has one hump. So ride, Alice, ride. Alice the camel has no humps. Alice the camel has no humps. Alice the camel has no humps because Alice is a horse. Huh. Why would they say at the end of the song that Alice is a horse instead of a camel? What do you think? Do you think it's because they got rid of all her humps? I think you're right. That's exactly why. That's a really silly song to sing. Thanks for singing it with me. All right, let's go back to thinking. Hmm. What are some more animals we know that live in the desert? Yeah, there's the dung beetle. That's a pretty cool animal. It goes around the desert and it collects all the other animals' poop. That's crazy. But somebody has to do it. Let's think again. We've talked about camels. We talked about spiders and eagles and vultures that live in the desert. But another animal that lives in the desert are snakes. And I have a book about snakes and I wanted to share some pictures in it with you. The first picture I wanna show you is this snake. It likes to make its home in the desert, kind of like the spider by digging underneath the sand and making a home for itself where it can stay safe and it only likes to come out at night. Did you know that snakes use their tongues to smell? So when you see a snake going like this, it's actually smelling the air with its tongue. That's pretty interesting, isn't it? Another picture I wanted to show you is of this snake that likes to live in the desert that eats eggs. Do you see that big bump in the middle of its body? It swallowed an egg whole. That's not how we eat eggs, is it? How do we eat eggs? Yeah, we usually crack them open and we can fry them up or put them in an omelet. Sometimes we use them to make cakes. But this snake, it just eats the egg all in one gulp. Gulp. It's pretty silly. This snake is called a king cobra snake. And you can see it's got a hood. And that's what gives it its name, the king cobra. This snake likes to live in the desert too. And the last snake I wanted to show you 
is the rattlesnake. Do you see on the end of its tail right there? When it shakes its tail back and forth, it makes a sound like a baby rattle. And that's to let people know where it is so it will leave them alone. Did you know that snakes don't really like to be bothered? If you see a snake, you should just walk away from it. If you walk away from the snake and leave it alone, the snake will not bother you. You know, that's true. Well, that's really all I know about the desert. Thanks for listening. I think we should sing one more song before we go. Let's sing Skidamarink, because I miss you guys and I love you so much. Ready? Skidamarink, a dink, a dink, skidamarink, a do. I love you. Skidamarink, a dink, a dink, skidamarink, a do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Oh, skidamarink, a dink, a dink, skidamarink, a do. I love you. I do. I love you very much. Goodbye.